Welcome to our guide on creating a freshwater farm plan, FFP, in New Zealand. These plans are vital for managing the environmental impact of farming, ensuring compliance with regulations and protecting our precious freshwater systems. In New Zealand, the Essential Freshwater Package mandates FFPs for pastoral farms over 20 hectares and arable farms over 5 hectares. These plans help align farming practices with legal and environmental guidelines to reduce harmful runoff and contamination. The National Policy Statement for Freshwater Management outlines specific requirements for FFPs. These plans must be certified by a freshwater farm planner and address factors like nutrient management and soil health to meet regional and national standards. Temana Otewai is a key framework in FFPs, prioritising water health above all else. Farmers are encouraged to align practices with ecological and cultural sustainability, recognising the interconnectedness of water, land and communities. FFPs offer more than regulatory compliance. They provide opportunities to incorporate best practices that protect freshwater resources and improve farm sustainability. Addressing issues like erosion and nutrient leaching helps safeguard land and ecosystems. Understanding Timana Otawai is crucial for farm managers. This Maori concept ensures operations prioritise water health, encouraging collaboration with local iwi and hapu to respect cultural values and practices like mahika kai. Incorporating Timana Otawai into FFPs involves identifying areas where farming practices may impact water quality and mitigating risks. This includes fencing waterways, planting riparian buffers and managing nutrient applications. Developing a freshwater farm plan involves assessing natural resources, identifying environmental risks and creating mitigation strategies. This structured process ensures compliance with regulations while protecting local ecosystems. The first step in creating an FFP is conducting a detailed farm overview. This includes mapping boundaries, paddocks and waterways and aligning farm goals with regulatory requirements and environmental objectives. Before on-farm assessments, gather data from public sources like SMAP and Overseer FM. This desktop analysis helps identify potential risks and areas of concern, providing insight into local water quality trends. An on-farm assessment involves identifying critical source areas where contaminant losses are likely. Soil testing and water sampling assess nutrient levels and contamination risks, guiding effective mitigation strategies. Evaluate potential environmental risks to local freshwater systems include erosion and nutrient runoff. Prioritise these risks based on topography, climate and soil conditions to design effective mitigation strategies. Propose practical mitigation strategies to reduce the farm's impact on freshwater systems. These might include fencing riparian areas, planting native vegetation buffers and adjusting fertiliser applications to suit the farm's needs. Compile the FFP into a comprehensive document with data, risk assessments and mitigation strategies. Include an executive summary highlighting key points and ensure the plan is ready for certification and auditing. Geology plays a crucial role in freshwater farm planning. Understanding geological characteristics helps identify erosion risks and nutrient runoff pathways, informing tailored strategies to protect soil and water health. New Zealand's diverse geological landscape influences water movement and soil development. Farms on alluvial plains may face nitrate leaching risks, while those on sedimentary rocks need to focus on drainage capacity. Incorporating geological data into FFPs helps predict erosion and nutrient loss areas. This is vital in regions with steep slopes or high rainfall, where sediment can easily enter rivers or streams. Soil health is vital for sustainable farming and water management. Healthy soils support crop growth and act as natural filters, retaining nutrients and preventing contaminants from entering freshwater systems. New Zealand's diverse soils influence drainage, nutrient retention and erosion susceptibility. 
Soil testing informs decisions about fertilizer application and water retention, ensuring effective management of soil health. Tools like SMAP provide detailed soil information, essential for understanding water movement and identifying critical source areas. Tailored strategies, such as planting cover crops, help mitigate soil-related risks. Identifying and managing critical source areas, CSAs, is crucial in FFPs. These areas, prone to contaminant losses, require targeted mitigation efforts to reduce environmental impact and protect water quality. Mapping CSAs involves GIS tools and on-farm assessments to pinpoint high-risk areas. Mitigation strategies include fencing riparian zones, planting vegetation, and modifying stock management to protect vulnerable areas. Thank you for joining us on this journey to create effective freshwater farm plans. By implementing these strategies, New Zealand farmers can protect freshwater resources and ensure sustainable farming for future generations.